The biggest fish on the trade market has now been dealt. Kevin Shattenkirk is a member of the Washington Capitals. The Capitals are currently the best team in the NHL, and they just got a whole lot stronger with the addition of Kevin Shattenkirk. So the trade went down last night. There was a lot of rumors and a lot of uh, a lot of things floating around on Twitter that he was actually going to be traded to the Rangers. A lot of people thought he was definitely going to be a New York Ranger, but before they knew it, Washington Capitals ended up pulling the trade on a deal. The official trade breaks it down like this. Kevin Shattenkirk and goaltender Phoenix Copley, I have no idea who that guy is, traded to the Washington Capitals for Bradley Malone, Zach Sanford, a conditional draft pick, a first round pick in 2017, and a second round pick in the 2019 draft. Now the condition is that the Blues get a second round pick if the Capitals re-sign Shattenkirk, or if the Capitals reach the conference finals and Shattenkirk plays at least 50% of the game so that's kind of a weird condition there's a lot of levels there but another note is that the Blues retain 39% of Shattenkirk's cap so throwing this into the GM mode simulation here Kevin Shattenkirk one of the best defensemen in the game 90 overall has a ton of trade value plus he is on a great contract there 4.1 million dollars is a steal for that guy Zach Sanford is no slouch either though 21 years old got a bunch of decent potential Brad Malone's kind of a throwaway player Zach Zach Sanford was one of the key pieces for this trade. So we are going to be the St. Louis Blues offering this to the Washington Capitals and they say absolutely yes. The Washington Capitals fan would call for my resignation if I don't accept this offer. Now going the other way, going from Washington sending it to St. Louis, they say no. They do not want to get rid of Kevin Shattenkirk for a couple of picks and Zach Sanford. So one side said yes and the other says no. So this was a big trade. Kevin Shattenkirk is an elite defense and him going to Washington is terrifying. Washington is in cup or bust mode pretty much. They're going all in and I love what they're doing over there in Washington. This is a big, big trade. He was the biggest fish on the trade block. Uh, I gotta say though, I gotta say a few hours before the trade actually went down, I predicted it on Twitter. I said Shattenkirk for Zach Sanford straight up is an even trade. Uh, obviously I was joking a little bit. Zach Sanford, if you watch my Japan GM mode. Turned out to be really, really good. I like the kid. He's had a few games this year in the NHL. Hopefully he becomes something really good for St. Louis. That would be awesome for them. But having a look here at Kevin Shattenkirk's stats, there's no denying this guy is elite. He's put up points. He scores goals. He gets assists. He is a great defenseman. He's not big. He's just an average sized guy. Six foot, 200 pounds. But I really like Kevin Shattenkirk. There's not a whole lot to dislike about him. I know a lot of guys in St. Louis are sad to see him go, but he wasn't going to re-sign or so people thought, and I think Kevin Shattenkirk wanted to move on as well. This is the second time he has been traded. He was traded from Colorado in the Eric Johnson deal, so this is a big trade. It's the second time he's been dealt. But looking at Washington, they're currently the best team in the NHL at 41-13-7 as of recording this video. Have a three-point lead on Minnesota. I mean, you could see Washington-Minnesota in the Stanley Cup Final, the one-two teams in the NHL. Both of those teams are scary, and both of those teams made big acquisitions, obviously with Minnesota getting Marty Hansel. So I went to Twitter and I asked who won the Shattenkirk trade in your opinion and why. A bunch of people said the Capitals gives them the final piece, all or nothing, they're going all in, cup or bust. There was also some fans from Washington that said sucks for losing Sanford, he was going to probably be our second or third line right wing of the future, but like I said, we need to go all in. So it's a pretty clear consensus there in Washington that they're going all in here. All their chips are in, they're going cup or bust, and I think that's great because I would love to see over you win a cup. It's about time. I really hope they go all the way this year. But on the flip side of that, some people actually said the Blues won the trade. They said he wasn't going to re-sign. They would have lost him for nothing. But if the Caps win the cup, they win the trade. That's kind of an interesting way to look at it. This guy jokes. He said St. Louis because Sanford is good. I love Sanford. He's a beauty. But this guy kind of says exactly what I'm thinking. Cup or bust for Washington. St. Louis got value for a rental whom they knew they wouldn't re-sign. St. Louis could have got more for 22 earlier on though. Now I 
I'm not sure if they could have got more, they could have got less, but I think this is a pretty decent return. Zach Sanford is not a bad player at all. He was called up and he scored a few goals in his uh, first couple of games. I think he scored in his first or his second game. He's not a bad player at all. He was a second round pick in 2013. He's 22 years old, kind of coming into his own. So I think that both teams win this trade. St. Louis gets some picks for the future. Washington's going all in to go for the cup. I had to pick a clear winner for this trade. And again, I like it for both teams. I got to give it to the Washington Capitals, man. If you win the cup, your name goes in history. If this is the trade that pushes you over the edge to get to the next level, if Shattenkirk is really what you need to bring home a Stanley Cup, you have won this trade. Also like it for the St. Louis Blues. They're in a position right now where they may not make the postseason. So offloading Kevin Shattenkirk is a much better deal than losing him to free agency where they wouldn't get anything in return. So I got to give a thumbs up to Washington. I would love to see Ovi get a cup. I'd love to see Shattenkirk, John Carlson, Kuznetsov, Braden Holtby. I'd love to see all those boys win a Stanley Cup. I, uh, I'm getting on that bandwagon for the Washington Capitals, but I really hope it works out for them because they're going all in. That is a big piece to acquire. So I'm going to give a thumbs up to Washington. Let me know who you think won the deal, and I will see you guys once the next trade drops. The trade deadline is tomorrow, so I'm sure there's going to be a couple of deals. Hopefully it's not a slow and boring day because so far there's been a bunch of great trades. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Who do you think won this deal? Thanks for watching.